Pijana Vallabha Jaya Giri Varadari Yashoda Namdana Praja Jana Rajana Yamuna Tiravana Chari Jaya Kunja good fortune that on this auspicious day of Radhastami, the divine appearance of Srimati Radharani, uh, we find ourselves in Raval, here in Vrindavan with a, a small group of devotees doing Parikama. Raval is actually where Srimati Radharani made her appearance. Uh, later on she transferred with her family over to Varshana, just as Krishna, he appeared in Gokul, and later he transferred over to Nandagram with his family. So this is a very, very special place. Today here in Vrindavan, the, you could say this is probably the biggest day of the year for the Brajbasis. Um, so many Brajbasis have come here to Raval, and from here they go to, to, to Varshana. So we're following in the footsteps of the, the Brajbasis. Uh, in the Garga Samhita, it's described that when it was time for Lord Krishna to make his appearance, at, in Dupura Yuga, at the end of Dupura Yuga, as the Yuga avatar, he approached his divine consort, Srimati Radharani, and requested her to come with him to the earth planet to perform their pastimes, to attract the conditioned souls back home, back to Godhead. Srimati Radharani, she agreed, but she made a condition that she would only come if they were accompanied by three things, the forests of Vrindavan, uh, Govardhan Hill, and the river Jamuna. So Krishna agreed, and Radharani agreed to come. So it's by the mercy, actually, of Srimati Radharani that Vrindavan Dham has manifested here in the material world. Uh, in the spiritual world, it's called Goloka Vrindavan, and when that Goloka Vrindavan comes to the material plane, it's called Gokul Vrindavan. Actually, there's no difference. The Acharyas say there's no difference between Goloka and, and Gokula, and those whose eyes are purified by devotion they can see the full glory of Vrindavan here manifest in the material world, here in Vrindavan. Krishna 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 Hare Hare 
So we've come here, uh, as devotees know, as all Gaudiya Vaishnavas know, um, Shrimati Radharani, uh, she's the best devotee of Krishna. She has the Mahabhav. We're all aspiring for Bhav or for devotion to the divine couple. But Radharani and Madhavinda Puri and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are the three personalities mentioned in scripture who have that Mahabhav. And she made her appearance here in, in, in Raval. And just behind me you can see uh, a kund actually. It's nothing more than a kund, but previously this was where the river Jamuna flowed. And one day her father, King Brishibanu, Kittiri Sundari, near their dwelling here, and King Brishibanu was walking and he found uh, Srimati Radharani as a small baby uh, floating on a golden lotus. This is how she made her appearance. Just like Krishna doesn't make, he's not born into this world. We don't say he's born, he makes a divine appearance. So in the same way, Srimati Radharani, her pastime was to make her appearance as a small child floating on a golden lotus, golden lotus down the Jumuna River. So he picked her up and he brought her here and this was the beginning of her childhood pastimes. Actually, there's not so much said about Srimati Radharani's her childhood pastimes uh, in the Sriman Bhagavatam. Actually, there's not very much said about Srimati Radharani in the Sriman Bhagavatam. And our acharyas explain that's because Shukadeva Goswami, the speaker of the Bhagavatam, uh, his Ishtadeva, his uh, worshipful personality was Srimati Radharani. And if he would speak so much about her, then he would begin to cry and he wouldn't be able to finish the Bhagavatam. So Shukadeva Goswami is not speaking so much about Srimati Radharani. I don't know how much I can actually say here as an aspiring devotee. But her pastimes began here and again she was transferred over to Varshana and there she displayed the deepest sentiments of devotion for, for Lord Krishna. So many pastimes we could go on forever describing the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. But because she's the best devotee, uh, she's in charge of devotional service. Just like in our ISKCON movement we have experience that if someone's expert at something, we put that person in charge of that department. This is an example. The best cook becomes the head of the kitchen, the best manager becomes the temple president, the best Sankatan devotee, book distributor, he heads up the Sankatan department. So the best devotee of the Lord, she who has the prem, the highest bhav for Krishna, Srimati Radharani, she's in charge of devotional service. So those who want to approach Krishna for that service, they first approach Srimati Radharani. And that can be seen uh, very clearly when we pray for the divine couple's mercy, when we chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We first approach Hare or Hara, uh, Srimati Radharani, who's in charge of bestowing devotional service to her beloved Krishna. So here in Vrindavan, uh, it's unique. Prabhupada would say sometimes that other places you go, holy places in India, and connected to Krishna, and they'll say Jai Shri Krishna or Hare Krishna, but in Vrindavan, um, when you pro approach people, they pass by, they say, Jai Shri Radha. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Jai Jai Radhe Jai Jai Radhe Jai 
Radharani is the queen of Vrindavan. Actually, her gopi, Vrindadevi, gave her forest, Vrindavan, Vrinda Forest, to Srimati Radharani. So, Radharani is actually the topmost personality here in, in Vrindavan. So, everyone is begging for her mercy. They're coming to Raval today, they're coming to Varshana, and they're begging for the mercy of Srimati Radharani that they can enter into the real, into the eternal uh, Goloka Vrindavan in the spiritual world one day by her blessings and serve the divine couple. So somehow by the causeless mercy of Srila Prabhupada, we're here today. We have no qualification, obviously, for be being here. We were born in Malaysia Desh, Yavana Desh, Western countries, but the divine, by the divine mercy of our spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, he has accepted us as his disciples and his followers. We're being purified by the uh, process, the Yuga Dharma of chanting Hare Krishna, and by his invitation only we find ourselves in such a sacred abode where even the dust of this place, the Braj Reno, is, is, is worshipable. It's actually described that one grain of dust of Vrindavan is more opulent than all the opulence in, in Vaikuntha itself. It's a very opulent place. The one grain of dust in Sri Vrindavan Dham is worth more than all the opulence in Vaikuntha. So somehow we're walking on that dust where seeing the Jamuna River, we're passing by Govardhan Hill, we're meeting the sadhus, we're going to our temple as the Prabhupada established the Krishna Balaram Mandir for his disciples and followers to come and nurture their bhakti to Krishna. And for us the most sacred place actually in Vrindavan is Sridhar Prabhupada Samadhi. Somehow we find ourselves here. Uh, we've just finished a, a two-month marathon of festivals in Poland. I think our, those who are following us on Facebook are well aware of those videos. So we came here after the festival to, to pray to Srimati Radharani that we can continue our festivals for many, many years. And at the end of our lives, as a result, we'll have some prayers, some bhakti in our hearts. And we, if it is Prabhupada's desire, we can continue preaching all over the world, all over the creation. But someday he may find us qualified to join his eternal pastimes in Goloka Vrindavan. So special day, special place, associating with all these Brajabhasis. It's kind of a festive mood, it's like a fair here. Um, this is how the locals observe. But we've seen the sadhus uh, under the trees next to the river. They're, they're there with their japa, they're chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Praying in their own ways. So devotees are approaching this sacred day in, in various ways. We just consider ourselves the lowest of the low and we're the servants of all the Brajbasis, even the birds and the dogs and the insects. We're praying for everyone's mercy so that we can also become a good servant of our Guru Maharaj and serve the people of this world by spreading Hare Krishna and get a taste of Prema in this lifetime. Shri Radhasthami Maha Mahosava Ki Shri Raval Dham Ki Varshana Dham Ki Appearance Day of Shri Mati Radharani Ki Jai Jai Shri Radhe Shyam